Okay, welcome to Minecraft, but piglin trades are overpowered. Are you sick and tired of piglins trading your precious gold for useless items? Because I know I am. Well, today I made them always trade extremely overpowered gear and tried to beat Minecraft. This includes entire blocks of materials, very overpowered books, and even potions. So the question today is, can I beat Minecraft with all of this crazy gear? Stay tuned to find out. And guys, this is only video number six on the channel, and we just passed 100k subs, so thank you. If you guys want to help me get all the way to 1 million subscribers and keep beating the YouTube algorithm, and you're in that 90% of people who aren't already subscribed, then you should definitely do that. It's completely free, and it helps out my channel a ton. Also, follow my Twitch and Twitter if you haven't already, the links are down below. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. Okay, here's the plan. So I'm just gonna go ahead and speedrun Minecraft right now and try and get to the nether as quickly as possible. There are a couple of basic things that I need to get, like an iron pickaxe to mine the gold blocks in the bastion, and also like just food and stone tools. But apart from that, pretty much everything I could ever need is gonna be obtained from trading with piglins today, which is gonna be crazy. So let's just go ahead and dig straight down, grab our like seven stone. And then we can go ahead and make our stone tools. Okay, I'm just gonna collect a bunch of wood right now and make myself like a boat and also some extra sticks as well. Oh wait, is that a shipwreck right there? Let's go, okay. And a ruin portal, holy dude. Okay, it doesn't have a gold block, but this could have a chest with some pretty good items inside. I think I'll just go to the shipwreck first though. Actually, let's just make a door really quickly so I can breathe under here because Minecraft is very realistic. And we have a chest, okay. Buried treasure map and some paper. Oh wait, I've actually already explored some of this map, which means that the buried treasure should just be over that way. Yeah, it's over that way. Okay, we're definitely going to explore that because I have a really good way of like finding the buried treasure quickly. And now let's check this chest. We got feather falling four leather boots, some carrots, potatoes, and stew. Okay, come on, please be a part with iron. Um, wait, hold up. Yes, this must be it. Yes, dude, six iron emeralds. Oh, this is so good. Okay, now we can make a bucket of flint and steel and also an iron pick. So we can pretty much go in like straight away. Let me just check the map really quickly. Oh my... It's literally like right over there, I think. Okay, let's just check the chest. We have a gold helmet, which is really good. Flint and steel, okay, more iron and some gold tools, okay. This flint is also really good because I think you can get like power 10 and punch 10 books. So arrows are going to be really good today. Okay, I just need to swim over here, and then the buried treasure should be right there. Here's a pro gamer tip for you guys. So if you see the numbers on my, like, chunk part of F3, if you change the first and third number to 9 and then go straight down, I'm pretty sure it means that you're directly above the treasure chest. Yep, there we go. Okay, what do we have? Holy dude, 7 gold, a bunch of iron, a diamond, more emeralds. Okay, well if I find a village, I'm just going to be set right now. Oh no, I'm drowning. Hold up. Oh wait, there's a lava pool on the treasure map. Okay, well, I think if I just go over there somewhere, there should be a lava pool and we can go through like straight away. Dude, this is actually the perfect start. Okay, I'm gonna make ladders as well so I can clutch while I'm in the nether. And we're also just gonna make like our iron pickaxe bucket. There we go. And I can also just make an axe as well. And we found it. Okay, cool. So yeah, this seven gold means that we get seven really overpowered trades just right off the bat, which is gonna be so nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and build myself a speedrunner portal really quickly. Let's just do this this, do this. And there we go. Right as the sun sets, we can go straight through. That literally took less than 10 minutes. Holy. Please give me a good spawn. Come on. Um, okay. This isn't the greatest spawn. Like, it's not in the middle of the sky, so that's good. Is there anything behind me? Yes, dude. Wait, what the? No. Okay, well, I found the right biome, but there is a ghast trying... Oh my, there's a ruin portal right up there. Okay, well, we get nine gold straight away. Goodbye, Ghast. Okay, what I'm gonna do to get some more blocks is just light up this, and we can get some gold and also just netherrack, so that should be nice and good. What? No, 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 no. Why is that aggro the pigman? That is really not good. That is really not good. Okay, I might die here. I didn't even know that TNT aggroed them, but whatever. Okay, let's just do this and try and, like... I guess get some more, <laughs> like, that could be good. This is becoming a slight problem. We have, like, 20 zombie pigmen on me right now, and they're just accumulating. Oh no, dude. Wait, are you kidding? There's a bastion straight away. Okay, I have no idea what I want to do right now. Um, if I just, like, jump around here... Oh no, 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 no. I thought that was going to be a block for me to ladder clutch on, but there isn't. Okay, it's a really good type of bastion, so that's nice. Um, I'm just going to try and, like, bridge over the lava. And then maybe I can just leaf them away. I'm pretty sure if we just chill here, I can break the blocks below their feet and we can just <laughs> kind of get rid of them. Oh my, are they, dude, they're pushing each other off. This is so cursed. What is going on? And goodbye. All right, we're good to go. How do you even make friends with them again? If I have to deal with this for the entire like video, that's going to be so annoying. All right, what do we have in here? We have a, ooh, a lot of gold, um, a piece of obsidian, which is kind of nice. Shop for golden axe. 9.5 attack damage. That is actually crazy. Okay, we have a curse of... No. Curse of binding. 
Okay, well apparently I'm wearing a gold chest plate now. I mean, it might just break eventually, so that's kind of good. But I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this really quickly. There we go. We have 16 gold in total. Okay. Well, before I go into the Bastion, we're already gonna have so many overpowered trades. Are you guys ready for the clutches? Oh no! No 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 no! Dude, okay, I panicked. How are there so many of these pigmen? This is crazy. Okay, our first trade is about to happen. We still have all of these zombie pigmen on us. Oh my! Holy! They're in a single file line. This is so cursed. We got enderpearls though. Give me them. No! What? What am I meant to do? This is insane. There is just a- Oh, we got something good though. Alright, let me try and like, just pick up these really quickly. What is this? Sharpness 10. Sharpness 10. Oh my. And 16 enderpearls. Okay, we are already so set. Alright, let me just stay up here and like, sort out my inventory while they all push each other off. Because this should be even worse than last time. <laughs> oh my, what is going on? They're all just pushing each other in. Okay, I think after this, they're pretty much all gone. So we can finally trade in peace with our piglin. Alright, what is this trade gonna be? Oh, we got another book. Sharpness 10 again. Oh my, what is going on? Alright, well we can make sharpness 11. Um... Slow falling potion, what? I mean, that'll be kind of useful for like, you know, the end, I guess. Knockback 10. Oh my, okay, we're gonna make two weapons right now. I'm gonna have a knockback 10 weapon and also a sharpness 10. Another book. Looting 20? Oh my. <laughs> Dude, the books are meant to be like the rarest thing and I'm just getting so many. Okay, what now? Another book. Power 10. Dude, I'm getting so many books. Okay, um, let me just like make a chest because I feel like I'm gonna get quite a lot of loot right now. Let me just like put all of this inside. What? Totem of Undying. And for some reason, it's angry at me, so that's fun. Okay, the piglin's still trading, so hopefully I can get something good armor-wise. Oh, we got an anvil. There is no way. Okay, as soon as I get XP somehow, then we can... Wait, six levels might actually be enough for the sharpness 10. All right, let's go ahead and make a diamond axe really quickly. Dude, they're slowly just like spawning in more and more pigmen. No way, we got netherite. Oh my... Okay, wait. No, 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 no. I'm being attacked. Honestly, the safest place for me right now would be the Bastion. Like, there are literally just so many pigmen appearing. Okay, all I gotta do right now is make this Sharpness 10 axe, because I can probably just one-tap everything after that. Okay, one final pigmen. Goodbye. And we can just continue. Okay. Oh, we got another potion. What is this? Fire resistance. Perfect. I haven't found a fortress yet, but this is eight minutes long. So when I do, we're gonna be able to, like, kill blazes so easily. Okay, sharpness 10 diamond axe. There we go. Oh my. Okay, well, this is gonna be very good for the bastion whenever I find, like, brutes and stuff. No way, we got a diamond block. No way, dude. Okay, well... Diamond leggings, easy as that, let's go. Actually, because I have netherite now, I can probably make netherite leggings if I just grab some wood. Like, we have the flint to make the uh, weird table things, so... Oh, I can make a netherite axe as well. Oh my, this is gonna be so good. Okay, so we just do this, and we have a smithing table, and then if I just put this here, this here, netherite axe, sharpness 10, holy... Okay, how much is it for looting 20 on a sword? Uh, six levels, okay, wait... If I just mine quartz, I should be able to get 6 levels very quickly. If I get a looting 20 sword, we're just gonna be able to get so many enderpearls, and I can also get like a bunch of feathers too when I'm in the overworld. Alright, I'll make this looting 20 sword, and then we'll head into the bastion and just start like, trading insanely quickly with piglins. Okay. Let's also make these netherite leggings, there we go. Oh my dude, I'm so overpowered already, and I've literally traded like 10 times. I'm gonna take this chest with me, and head into the bastion, okay. Oh, and the pigmen are finally friendly with me, okay good. So what I'm gonna do right now, is I'm gonna use my slow falling effect to like pearl into the ceiling and then just float down onto the uh good part of the bastion like if this misses oh no 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 no! no. i'm not falling as slow as i wanted to are we fine okay we're fine <laughs> that was a bit risky but you know everything's fine dude this looks so cursed right now i'm just like lying down looking at the piglins okay so the tower's just up here and i don't think there are any piglins to uh worry about so i'm just gonna mine this straight away we are about to have so many OP items, dude. This is crazy. Look at this. I'm probably gonna have a stack already. 57. Oh my. This is this is broken. Of course I get the most overpowered Bastion type when gold is this good. Oh my. We have two stacks right now. This is crazy. Okay, I see a Piglin Brute over there. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna like run over here and sharpness 10 it, okay? Bang. It doesn't even one hit the Brutes. Oh no. No, 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 no. This is bad. 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 I have all of the piglins angry at me. All right, just take gold, okay? They're gonna, like, throw it all in lava, but it's better than me dying right now. Let's eat this shoe. Please give me- Are you kidding? I literally have poison. Oh, man. Okay, we're just gonna run over here. All right, let's just see if the piglins follow me. Please follow me. Look- No! Why is it trying to shoot me? I have gold armor. Why does it want me? No, the brutes! The brutes! Okay, run, 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 run. 
Run, run, run. I really do not want to die right now, okay? Um, I kind of have no food, so this is kind of an issue. But if I just toss this, we might be able to get a Notch Apple. I saw one of the, uh, one of the Piglin Brutes holding one. Please give me something to eat. We have efficiency 10. Okay, I'm just gonna put all of this gold inside because I need a Notch Apple right now. Like, we have so many diamonds, but it's not what I need, okay? Another diamond block. We have 41 diamonds. Okay, well... I guess I'll just make some diamond armor, like, we might as well. Diamond boots, diamond helmet, and we're gonna have to keep the gold chest plate on, but that kind of works since I'm in the nether anyway. We have a speed 4 potion, it's 40 seconds long as well, oh my, we have so many pearls as well. Alright, well, it's gonna be very easy to travel around. Wait, I see obsidian there, how much is this? 17 obsidian, perfect, dude. Oh yes, we got a Notch Apple and XP bottles. Okay, I'm eating that right now because I see Piglin Brutes, and I cannot afford to die. And goodbye. Okay, we still have to like four hit them. Sharpness 10 apparently isn't enough to one hit, so that's fun. Okay, what are these books? Punch 10. That's gonna be so good for a bow. We can like bow boost and stuff. Even more pearls. Okay, I just wanna try and get like another Notch Apple, honestly. So I'm just gonna toss in the rest of my gold. Should I just try out the looting 20 on a Pikmin? Okay, let's just do it. Oh my. I mean, that's pretty good. We got a lot of gold nuggets and also a gold ingot. Okay, well, what, what is this? Instant health 2 potion. Okay, that's really good. Let me just like start putting all of this in a chest because we're about to have so many. Like I put so much gold inside. No, no. Okay, these pigs are just going to feed me gold. We're getting so much from them. I got a gold sword, um, an entire gold ingot, and so many nuggets. Okay, knockback 10, sharpness 10, efficiency 10, totems. Oh man, this is crazy. Yes, another notch. Let's go, dude. Okay, I just want to collect a bit more netherite and then we'll be on our way because, like, I still need to find a fortress, okay? Okay, I'm probably going to make a knockback 10 weapon and just use it to push away all the piglins because, like, I am just kind of, uh, <laughs> kind of in trouble here. Okay, sharpness 10 and knockback 10. Let's go ahead and put that on a diamond sword real quick. I mean, I could just put that on my looting sword, to be honest. Um, sharpness 10, looting 20, and then let's also put knockback on as well. Bang! Okay, we have a god sword now. Knockback 10, looting, and sharpness. Dude, I just want to make every overpowered tool right now, so do I have- I have fortune. Is there efficiency? Oh, efficiency 10. Let's go. Okay, let's just do this. Efficiency 10, and then also fortune at the same time. Come on. Yes, fortune 20, efficiency 10, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna get the piglins to go in this pit here, and hopefully they'll give me netherite, because I'm still looking for that. As soon as I can make these pieces prot 10 and netherite, I think we're probably ready to go. Okay, more XP, perfect. We can go ahead and put protection 10 on my netherite leggings. Okay, bang. Okay, honestly, I think we're pretty set now. We have netherite pieces with protection 10. We have overpowered weapons. The final thing I need right now is blaze rods. So I think what I'm going to do is try and locate a fortress. Oh wait, actually, I'm kind of low on food. So what I'm going to do is just build a portal right now because I have a stack of obsidian. And we can just go back to the overworld and kill some mobs real quick. And then we'll be good to go. And we are back. So what I can do right now is use my looting 20 to get just a bit of chicken, okay? Bang. Seven chicken from one. Actually, no, I'm gonna light up the chicken and then hit it with looting 20. And now we have 20 cooked chicken and a bunch of feathers. Okay, dude. All right, I think one more chicken should do us for like the entire rest of the video because looting 20 is this overpowered. There we go, 36. And now we can go back. Okay, I am really stacked right now. Let's just drink up a speed four potion and use it to just travel around really quickly. Holy dude. Wait, I forgot. I can literally just giga drill. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, hold up, hold up. I have, I have fire as we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> Dude, I am I am going a bit too quick right now. Okay, it's gonna pull to a random place again. Um, any fortresses nearby? Any fortresses? Anything nearby? Yes, dude. Wait, is that a bat? Oh no, that's a fortress. Okay, perfect. All right, well I can just spam ender pearls because we literally have four stacks right now. Oh no, 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 no. I have fire res, so we're fine. But that was not the greatest ender pearl. Man, the looting twenty is gonna be so good against the blazes. Okay, there's a spawner right there, so we're just gonna pearl. Hopefully, I can actually hit. No. Okay, no, we're fine. Um, and I can literally just insta-break every block. Okay, this is pretty good. Okay, blaze it. Oh my- Five blaze rods from one, okay? <laughs> it's just flying all over the place. Alright, okay. Go on, give me some blaze rods. How many is this? Fourteen. Fourteen blaze rods. Oh my, what is got? Okay. All right, well, that's literally everything I need. We literally have 28 blaze powder, so I'm just gonna make, I guess, a stack of eyes. And now we can go back to the overworld. Okay, that was very, very quick. Do this, there we go. Okay, so the stronghold is this way. Um, We can just, I guess, drink speed four and start just zooming towards it. I'm just gonna keep throwing enderpearls and speed around this, okay? Uh, let's throw another one. Fortress is still this way. All right, enderpearl again. Oh my. Okay, I found a ruined portal and a village next to each other. I'm pretty sure it changed direction. I don't even know, dude. 
All right, let's grab some string really quickly. There we go, 10. Actually, yeah, what I'm gonna do is right before I go to the end, we're gonna make one more nether portal and I'm gonna make a really overpowered bow because that's gonna be so good for killing the dragon. I'm gonna grab a tiny bit more obsidian so I can build both those portals and then we just gotta keep heading towards the stronghold. Okay, and apparently it's in the ocean, so we're gonna go ahead and get out our boat. And it actually could be quite nearby, okay. Oh, I see it, it's actually exposed. Okay, well, there we go. I don't need to use any more eyes of Ender. Okay, I found a library straight away. Let's see if there's any, like, good books inside. I mean, I already have some good books, but, you know, we might as well check. Um, we have Loyalty 3 and Power 4. Okay. Frostwalker 2, Bane of Arthropods, Multi-Shot Bane of Arthropods. Okay, well, I don't have a crossbow or a trident, so we don't really need any of those. And we found the portal room straight away. Okay, well, what I'm gonna do right now is go through and make a really good bow. We have Sharpness 10 and, like, Netherite, but I feel like we might need a bit more gear. So, yeah, let's just make a Power 10 bow. I finally have the string now, so if I just trade with these piglins right here, we should get some more overpowered items. Okay, we got another speed potion, but I'm just looking for punch 10 and power 10, okay? Oh, another piece of netherite. Let's go! Two pieces of netherite consecutively! Alright, well, we can just do this, and we can just do this, and apparently a ghast is attacking me, so that's fun. As soon as I get this bow, okay, that ghast is gonna be destroyed. I found a book. Protection 10. Let's go. That's perfect. All right, another protection 10 piece. Not bad, not bad. Okay, what is this? Come on, power book, please. Another protection 10. What is this? Power 10. Perfect. Let's go, dude. Oh my. Bow, power 10, bang. And to complete the setup, we gotta make our final protection 10 netherite piece. I still have a golden chest plate on, which is looking kind of fresh, but I mean, it's whatever. More ender pearls, another potion. Oh, two notches. Just, just two notches, you know. And they just ran out of gold, but I did get a punch 10 books, so we can go ahead and make ourselves a very, very nice bow. Oh wait, what if I actually made two? Because I could use one to bow boost. Actually, no, I'll just put them together. We just gotta make the OP bow, okay? Alright, it's finally time for me to have a very fair fight with the ender dragons, so let's go back through. We have notches, sharpness 10, power 10. It's just gonna be insane. Alright, let's do it. Here we go. We're in the end. I feel bad for the dragon right now. I am just way too stacked. Okay, my chicken's gone, so we have no food, but I mean, we do have notches, so that works. All right, let's just go ahead and break these crystals real quick. Let's just do a nice block clutch up here so I can like get all of the shots nice and easily. And if I just do this, and one of these, and one of these, oh my, this is so satisfying, dude. Okay, let's just end up all over to this one, and we can break it really quick. End up all to this one. Dude, my health is just ridiculous. Oh no. And the dragon perched, so what I can do is just go down and hit it with the sharpness 10 axe and do... Come here. Come here, dragon. Come on, let's get some crits on the head. Oh my, did you see how much damage I did? That's actually crazy, dude. Okay, I think I broke all the crystals now, so we can finally just hit some shots on the dragon. I only have three arrows left, so I have to hit these shots, okay? I'm gonna use my speed fall potion and also my slow falling as well. And we hit another shot. Come on, the final one. Yes, dude, okay. And as soon as this dragon perches, it's just done for. It's genuinely done for. Oh, wait, actually, I can make more arrows. There we go. We have another 12. All right, I'll take it. Okay, and the dragon's finally perching, so I can get some free shots just like this. And then I will end up all down, eat my notch apple just because I want to flex on the dragon, and then we'll get some crits on its head. Let's go, dude. Are you guys ready for Sharpness 10 versus Ender Dragon? Look at this damage. Oh, no. It just disappeared. Okay. It's punching again. Okay, this is the final one. I'm getting my netherite axe ready. Okay, look how quickly I'm gonna kill this guy, okay? Let's just do- No! Dude, no, stop. Stop resisting. You need to die, dragon. I'm just gonna hit- Come on, let me hit its head. Oh my, look at the damage! Look at the damage! No, it's gone again. I refuse. Let me end the pearl into you. Oh, that actually landed. Oh, the dragon's down. Okay, slow falling, speed fall. Let's end the pearl down. And let's finish this guy. No escape! No escape! Let's go. Oh my, my FOV is crazy right now. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. If you guys did enjoy, then leave a like down below. I'm just gonna use punch 10 on this phantom. Oh my, what the? And yeah, I'll see you guys all later. Peace.